to do something that they don't teach you in school. I had to do my own research, study how millionaires and billionaires work. What's up guys, it's your girl Carol and welcome back to my channel. And on this channel, we talk all about mindset, unsubscribing to negative thoughts and really growth so that we can actually be happy and enjoy our lives. Last week on my Instagram, I put up a question and I wanted to know what you wanted me to talk about in my upcoming videos. And this is one of the questions that I got. And honestly, I am so excited to answer this question. It deserves a whole video. I knew it was time to quit my job when I finally got that promotion that everybody had been wishing for, everybody wanted. I finally got the job of my dreams and I still wasn't happy. Like I expected that when I got this promotion, when I finally got the position that I've been working for, I thought I was supposed to be happy. And I actually was more miserable than before I even had the promotion, okay? That's how I knew I had to quit my job. I always wanted to be a finance manager, a finance director, and in my head, I was working all these years, working hard, putting in the hours, because I wanted that position, I wanted that name, you know? I wanted the income that came with it also. I wanted all the responsibility. I was ready to be a boss babe in an industry of men. And I knew, I knew that I could do it because I had been an assistant finance manager and I was running a multi-million dollar business alone. So I knew that I could do it. The promotion that I finally wanted, I still wasn't happy. And then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, if money doesn't solve my problems, if me getting to this higher position is not making me happy, then I really need to check my priorities because, so what am I gonna do next? Am I going to run the store next? Is that gonna make me happy? I started trying to hide the unhappiness. Um, and I tried to hide the unhappiness with buying myself shoes, buying myself bags, going out to expensive dinners, and I thought that that would make me happy. I was here making more money, but I was sacrificing more of my time, right? I also was not in the right mindset. I thought that making money was the most important thing, that money was gonna buy happiness for me. and. When I got the promotion and I got the money and I lost more of my life because I've always worked long hours, but for some reason in my head, it didn't register that the more money I made, the more time I would have to give to this, this business. The daily routine at work was wake up, check emails, rush, because I had a two hour, almost two hour commute to work, rush, be late, work for 10 plus hours, leave work at 10 p.m., right? Get home at 11, maybe eat something, maybe fake watch Netflix, and then go to sleep and do it all over again the next day. That and he was, I wasn't thinking this position gonna make me happy. I was thinking how much more is this position gonna make me? Now I'm all confused in the game. Like I'm thinking like, the American dream is make six figures, you know, buy a house, you know, do all this. I'm, I'm like 28, 29, about to hit 30. So I'm like, sis, you don't have all the time in the world. Like, let's sit down with ourselves and really figure out what it is that we want to do. I did not have the luxury of just getting up and quitting my job, although that's what it looked like probably on social media, but I really wouldn't show the struggle. I would just show the highlights, you know, like this a great part about this but here are all the negative parts about it too i now had new lenses i want i wanted to figure out why i wasn't happy why i was checking off everything in my plans and i wasn't happy and my partner was twice my age we were making the same money we were spending the same amount of money at this job you know and he wasn't happy and i wasn't happy so I'm like, am I going to do this for another 10, 20, 30 years? Start having kids and still hating my job? Am I going to get into debt and still hate my job? Because if I was gonna do all of those things, then I was gonna be trapped at this job, right? And on the other hand, when I was at home, the little time that I was at home, 
I wasn't happy either because I didn't have a, a routine that I was in. I wasn't taking care of myself. On my days off, I would be a couch potato. First time in my life that I started making real money. I actually started making six figures. So I had to really make a plan in my head. I'm like, okay, are we gonna do this for another five years? Are we gonna save up for 10 years? Are we gonna save up for three years? Like, what are we gonna do, right? While all this was happening, right? my boyfriend and I, we were planning our first trip together. Mind you, mind you, we had been together now for four years, right? For me, this was the first time, number one, that I was going on vacation with a significant other, AKA vacation. Number two, it was the first real vacation that I had ever been on. We were planning that vacation, right? I also tried to set up a plan in motion. I'm like, okay, I'm not happy. How can I become happy, right? And I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Never had me time to figure that out. So while we were planning to go to Mexico in October, I was working on my mindset and I was working on being happy in the present because after gaining knowledge from audiobooks, from Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins, Dr. Joe Dispenza, everybody in the manifesting world, I had learned that if I could be happy in the present while I was in the struggle, then I could be happy at any point in time. So I made it my mission that I was going to make sure that I would be happy until I figured out my exit plan, right? Actually, I want to say that that shit worked. Like, I started waking up a little bit earlier. I started making up a morning routine for myself. That's how I fell in love with yoga. I said, okay, I can't do a full workout. Let me start by doing a 10 minute yoga. I do yoga with Adrienne and I'm obsessed with her. I started building a morning routine. I started making myself a plan. Like I know that in the next few months, I'm gonna be in Mexico. Let me try to be happy. Let me try to shred some weight. Let me try to be in the right mindset. And that helped me a lot because as I was figuring out where I was gonna go career wise, I knew now that I was in control of my happiness. Managers, salespeople, customers get under my skin and I'm someone that I, I don't have a poker face. Like, so once I started feeling good about myself, fast forward to October of 2021, when we actually went to Mexico for two weeks and I promised myself, I said, Carolina, these next two weeks, you are not gonna do what you usually do be on your phone, your emails for work, and going to act as if you are already financially free. You're gonna act as if you already are the business owner of what I don't know. You're going to be happy, okay? And you're gonna live in the moment and you're just gonna soak it all up, okay? Because this is your time. And that is exactly what I did when I was in Mexico. I was living my best life, okay? I didn't know that I was gonna quit my job yet. When I came back, and it was my first day back, I literally felt like I took 17 million steps backwards because I was back to being unhappy. Now, this time around, I realized that although I have all the money that I thought I needed, I knew that being financially free was something that I needed. I needed it. And I didn't know how I was gonna get there because I don't know what the frick my hobbies are, you know? But I knew that time and happiness was way more important than money because I already had that and it wasn't clicking, babe. My life was not clicking when my exit plan came into play. So what I did now was like, okay, I was 29 at the time. I'm like, babe, you're gonna retire yourself by the time you're 30. I've been saving for about two years now. And for these next six months, you're gonna save every freaking dollar you make. No more bags, no more shoes, no more nothing. Because you're gonna sacrifice your time for these next six months. Remember, I had already been saving since I got this promotion, right? So it's been about two years worth of savings. My gift to myself for my 30th birthday was gonna be, I was gonna buy myself time to create wealth 
and to create financial freedom for myself and most importantly, be happy. Exactly what I did. I literally came home from Mexico. I made a plan. I made a list of all my expenses, right? I included credit cards. I included lunch, every single thing. And then I made a list of what I was making. And then I set a plan. This is how much I could save a month, right? I had been saving for a while now. And honestly, two years of saving is not even a lot because how could you just start saving when you're 28? Like, girl. And I just want to be honest, that was what I was doing. Like, I didn't have any money saved from any other jobs before. I'm telling everybody that I'm quitting my job at 30. And the reason I did that was, I know that a lot of people say that you shouldn't, you know, say your goals out loud because I don't even know why they say that. But I felt like I wanted to say my goals out loud, not only so that people can hold me accountable, but also because I needed to speak it into existence. If, if I could say it out loud and not care about facial expressions or people's opinions or their own like projecting their stuff on me, if I could say it out loud, I knew I was gonna do it. I didn't know how. People said, how are you gonna do it? I said, girl, I don't know. But we gonna figure it out. Because what I learned about manifesting is even if you don't know, just go and try and do. Okay. So now in November, here I am saving every check that I have. I'm being present. I'm working on being happy in the present. My right to work, I would listen to nothing but audio knowledge. I put the rap life to the side and I was listening to motivational speeches. I was listening to people who were giving their experience. How can I learn from these millionaires and billionaires? Because that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm not trying to drive to work two hours there, two hours back, like, no. The journey started in 2020. So from 2020 to November 2021, I had gained a tremendous amount of knowledge of how to master my mind so that I can be the creator. I know. I also started to upload videos on YouTube and I started to show and share my experience more on my Instagram. And I felt like if I was gonna give other people advice, I needed to take the advice myself. If I was gonna tell people to follow their dreams and stop trading their time for money and then take a chance on themselves, I needed to do that in my life too. Practice what you preach, babe. So I sat down with my partner and I explained to him exactly how I felt. And he really, really knew, like he knew because he was living the, you know, every day with me and he would see the struggle. And I sat down with him and I said, listen, I don't know that I want to do these extra six months if I don't have to. And I am so blessed that he is my number one supporter. And he said, whatever you decide to do, I'm going to back you up one million percent. And that's literally all I needed to hear. So he went the next day back to work as the owner and I, I explained to him exactly how I felt. When you are honest with someone and you tell them that I don't want to raise, I don't want more money, I'm simply not happy and I want more for my life. He couldn't offer me what I wanted. I wanted more time. Bill, this is my last year working for somebody else. Yeah, that was yeah. it. I was not going to trade time for money anymore because after reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, I knew that I was going on the path to Poor Dad. Not Rich Dad. No, no. Poor Dad. How serious are you? Because we make decisions every day. How many of those decisions do you actually keep? When you make a promise to yourself, I said I was going to retire by 30. I was dead serious because I had made other decisions before. Decisions that you're making, keep them. Because I can say that I want all this and I'm gonna raise my standards and I want more for my life, but are you gonna decide to actually do the work? And when you decide to do the work, when you decide that this is my plan for my life, there's no other outcome that I'm going to accept, period. And I am so happy that I did all of that because it has now been six months since I quit my job. And these are the best six months of my life. Like I was reborn because my mindset is so different now that it was before. And 
it's because I bought myself time. Would I have gotten this confident? Would I have been this open with my life if I had still been at my old mindset at my old job? Maybe it would have taken me another 10 years to wake up and figure out that, hey, maybe I should be happy and not fucking miserable. If I didn't commit to understanding my mind and understanding that little, little negative voice, and understanding why she's even there, I probably, no, not probably, I would have definitely stayed at that job. Be miserable. Never too late to change your life. Every single day you can change your life. It's only been six months for me, but it has taken six months for me to actually get into a routine also. So I wanna share with you some little tips that have helped me since I quit my job that maybe you should start doing while you are still at your job so that once you do quit your job, you don't have to wait six months. The goal is to learn from other people's experiences. The goal is for you to learn from my mistakes, me to share my experience so the journey could just be easier. Don't be rich mom on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. If you have not subscribed, if you're not part of the fam, subscribe. In this channel, we really try to focus on getting better every day. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one.